Okay, this is the morning meditation for June 11th, 2012, Monday. Um, the main key one I'm pulling off for today is that we're, the gospel readings are uh, in Matthew 5 about the Beatitudes. And there is a um, certainly a prescription for um, being certain ways which will allow one to see God and gain the kingdom of heaven and be blessed. And I think you can understand that God is saying this is a, a spirit or the way you should be. And this is the way that I am. I think, you know, this is the way of my spirit, the way of the spirituality that is in heaven. And so, if you are this way, um, you will be able to be led into the kingdom where this is the way. And that makes me think of the other things that I've been um, working on about spousal union. And I think it comes down to this. when You know, there's a line in there somewhere that says, you know, the Holy Spirit is the love of the Father and the Son, is the union of the Father and the Son. And that's always been a sort of tricky transitional point to understand. But I think it, it kind of goes like this, is that... Um, in spousal love, particularly, love in general, but in spousal love particularly, there is a creative element, uh, a life-giving factor or aspect of love. And that's the, um, the two are saying to each other that the other should exist and that the other... Um, When I love someone and when I will, they're good. I'm really saying, you know, I wish you're good and I want you're good. But also, it is good that you exist and I affirm your existence. And I'm saying, yes, be. And there's a capacity in goodwill, which is always creative because one is always freshly making it one's own will and creatively saying, I am willing the good to exist afresh, anew, um, from the source of the font of my heart, in a sense, where it is the font when it is saying, when it has new willings, and especially when those are good, because one is saying, I want there to be good in the world, um, I want the good for another, and part of that good is it existence. I want you to be, I'm affirming you to be, um, and I'm willing that. And so that creative element um, of saying be to the other is part of spousal love. We're also saying that with that be, I'm sharing all that I have and I am for your good. So even the existence that I have, I'm sort of handing over in, in its fullness to you and with you and for you. And so again, there's this creative being quality, or where you say be to the other, that's inherent in spousal love. So when the two unite in this way or this spirituality, the spirit, if you would, of their spirituality is a creative one, is one that calls for the existence of the other, affirms it and asserts it. Um, and when you extra abstract that in a broader way as their spirituality, it's a spirituality that is saying that the other should exist and uh, this is the good that should be when you consider the fundamental aspect of action 
having its first principle to be what is the good to be and so what is the good to be done um, their fundamental existential statement is this is the good to be and this is the good to be done and this is what should exist that's their statement and it's a life-giving creative statement that says we will the existence of each other and affirm it and give it but we also share everything that we are and have in union to and for and with the other and that statement of handing over is their spirituality their spirit so then you compare that sort of existential statement of gift which is just made as the unitive expression or the spirituality of love or unitive love and it just kind of being there hanging there unfulfilled but the realization of it the consummation of it would be that spirit realized that spirit which is given over uh, to the other um, the existential unitive expression of that fully realized uh, would be a spirit who is that who is the one who it is given over to and in that sense it becomes spirit being person type of spirit rather than the spirit of their way but the realization of units of love the spirit of units of love um, in the spirituality sense realized is a spirit being of units of love and so humans um, spousal love of course has that capacity to make that statement but it goes unrealized in essence because they don't have existence in and of itself um, or they are not existence in and of itself so they don't have the capacity for that expression of existence the gift part to be realized but as baptized Christians they have within them um, the gift of the Holy Spirit who is that expression who is that realization existentially uh, in the Trinity who is the love and union of the Father and the Son and so he can answer that expression and claim or of gift that is the spirit of human spousal love and taken up in his very being because it uh, corresponds to the gift that he is. So there's probably more, but that's probably enough to sully the waters of enough. Uh, anyway, um, so that is why you can say that, um, at least sacramentally, that the Holy Spirit is the consummation of the marital covenant is the bond of marriage because he takes it up and is the realization of their spirit duality and, and therefore it becomes indissoluble um, it also shows if the Holy Spirit you know if a third is always the uh, well it goes against contraception of course because if the third is is the realization of the movement of the desires of love in unity of love then to have a, a truth statement in there that acts against another coming from love kind of unhinges your whole truth of what makes union possible which is what love is um, getting at. I mean, the whole movement of love is, is unity because you're joining in the goodwill, which is the claim of your actions. Um, and then the two being one and the good of the other allows them to unite, but that leads to that ex existential expression of spirit and spirituality. Anyway, um, yeah, and it also just says why you can't cohabitate. Because if you're saying, make us one, um, either 
say make us one and mean it or don't act for the realization or ask for it through your actions. So that's the morning meditation for Monday, June 11th. Yeah. Deo gratia. Finally figured out the right way to say it, I think. Mm-hmm.